What do you think are the biggest hurdles on the road to decarbonization right now? Right now, there is no one practical option that can be applied to the shipping industry at large. There are on the table several alternatives. However, right now, the majority of the ship owners and the majority of the shipping industry are reluctant to invest since we are lacking the distribution network of all of the alternative fuel that will be chosen. As such, we have seen uh, some very early on efforts on uh, using LNG as alternative fuel since there is proven technology and there is abundance of it and there are also uh, distribution uh, banking stations. However, the industry today and most likely in the next five to ten years will be investigating options before ending up to the most practicable and feasible solution on alternative fuels. Now, given the uncertainty of uh, fuels, how can shipping companies renew their fleets? What we have seen is that the shipping industry, the last couple of years, they have taken mostly operating alternatives to reduce the carbon emission and the greenhouse gases. I think for the imminent future, for the near future, the same alternative will occur. As long as the ship owner cannot have a practicable solution so he knows that if he invests big amount of money he will have a certain rate of return, he will not make the move. So for the, for the foreseeable future, they will try with operating measures and optimization techniques like reducing speed to also reduce the footprint of carbon emission in, 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 uh, in the uh, environment. Now, what do you think is the most likely outcome in terms of fuel that can lead to reduction of the emissions? Ideally, any environmentally produced fuel, and there are efforts for the so-called e-hydrogen, e-methane, those are fuels that will be produced from environmentally friendly sources. Could be a potential solution, but we are far from this because you need a, a bankering network so where people can go if they burn hydrogen or methane, uh, to, to load in order to operate. So, as is right now, the only existing network is LNG. So, we have engines that they can burn LNG. So, it seems to me that LNG is right now the number one practicable solution that will lead us in the next decade and perhaps if we elaborate and find solution on how to capture the percentage of carbon dioxide that is also released if you burn LNG, if we capture, store and, trans and transport that to onshore facilities, that may be a potential solution for the long term.